OK, now let me <clears throat> now let us go into the collections management. What is the importance of the collections management? Why we would require it? OK, if we talk about overview of the collections management, let us assume we have a n number of line items which are open state, which we need to receive payment from the customer. OK, if we do not have the collections management, OK, if we do not have the collections management, if we will have the collections management. First, let us see the two comparisons okay now if we do not have we have not implemented collections management then what will happen what we use to do in fi we will just execute the dunning letters dunning reminders we will send to customers in order to make the payment okay so now as once they receive the dunning letters then what what they used to do either they will do the payment or some customers they may not the they may not respond back only if we are not having collections management but now if we have the collections management, if our organization has been implemented the collections management functionality, what system does is a which are all the open items are there in EFI, all the line items will be every day the job, either manual job or back end job will get will get run for the open items. First, the point number one is what system does, which are all the line items are in open state in finance, in where we can see the FBL 5 and from there all the line items will be sent to the collections management then from there the collections management again what the collections management function function will do again that will generate the work list so work list is nothing but a, the open line items which are pending okay so open line items which will get generate okay so who is the person responsible based on the based on the collections based on the collections agent or collections uh, depends on the okay collections agent or collection processor okay his list this the system will generate a work list okay in that work list what the collections agent or collection processor used to do they used to contact the customer through the different communication channels communication channel in the sense by mail by call okay as well as by um, by physical also sometimes the peoples will visit physically also to office then in fi let us assume okay now i have today i i have called to customer customer has responded back i will do, i mean they are going to do the payment they have promised they have promised to make the payment on maybe the in next next month or next month in the sense february first week february 10th let us assume customer made promise to make the payment so and so amount in such situation there is no option in finance to update that history okay even i have contacted to the customer but even the customer made the made the promise to make the payment but now there is no such functionality in finance but whereas in collection management once we approach it to the customer for the collections for making payment there are multiple options are available okay maybe customer let us assume customer is not making the payment due to some xyz reason okay so customer have some concerns maybe the we have delivered late delivered the product and uh, or else some quantity issue some quality issue whatever it may be so in such situation what we will do by, while generating the work list itself after getting contacted to the customer what we will do based on the customer concerns we will raise a dispute case also this is a one aspect the second thing is that okay customer is okay but even though customer needs some more time to make the payment in such situation what we will do we will raise a one promise to pay promise to pay so maybe the future maybe one week or 10 days time or no need to contact to that customer then customer will make the payment so we will just mention that that we will just mention that word that history in that customer line items so that custom we i mean nobody is going to contact to that customer if customer already broken the promise to pay then customer promised to make the payment within 10 days even though after 
15 days also customer is not making the payment again those line items should come into my work list okay these kind of functionalities the collections management will be provided in fsem okay now the the basic intention of the collections management okay so where when we are going to contact to the customer the way of approach for the collections okay it will be differ as compared with the finance okay directly we will contact to the customers through the multiple channels okay if the the basic this is a fundamental thing if organization will have the cash flow okay will have the customer customers payments i mean cash inflows are on time then our organization performance will be good okay in case due to the due to the reasons due to some xyz reasons maybe we are not contacting to the customers maybe customers are not responding back due to dunning letters then the bag the bad debts will be keep on increasing because there is no proper communication channel okay so that could be the reason they come up with the collections management okay the collections management functionality they will have every organization used to have a dedicated team for the collections purpose okay so what their their job is that they just need to contact to the customer they need to take uh, inputs from the customer they need to update history in the collections management itself okay whether it's a promise to pay some dispute case what is so on other cases okay so this is what the collects the overview of the collections management okay now there are different <clears throat> roles are available in the collections management okay so so first let us discuss about a structure how the how the <coughs> collections management structure this is only the structure for the collections management and let me take this one so that now <coughs> pp so business partner will be okay so now the business partner now i have business partner is nothing but my customer then under business partner collection segments will be there okay the collection segment then collection segment will be there collection segment okay so even this is also one of the important thing so the collection segments will be created at company code level it's a depends on the depends on the client requirement let us say the collection segments which i have it's a currency wise usd or else it's a local for local collections which i have a separate team okay let me let me create like this, this collection segment also new option is for hana okay? no, no it is there, there. No, no, it is there in ACC also. If you if you could have implemented that collections management, okay, collection segment was there. Now, collection, no, yes, no, no, no changes, no changes. If if you could have implemented the FSCM collection segment for the international, international. Okay, now I will mention here is the then the collection segment. international customers then so this will be like this though the collection segments it's a depends on the most are the cases they will be like this only okay currency wise also will not be there most are the cases the the collection segment will be for local customers they they used to have a separate team for international customers they used to, to they used to have a separate customers
for local customers so what they used to do we will have a separate dedicated team so the dedicated team what they will do they will directly contact to the customers for the collections so this structure we need to understand this is one of the important thing then collection segment then so the collection segment as i told here i will mention it's a company code wise company code wise or company code wise or i will mention it's a depends on or it's a or if you have a country wise country country wise okay company code wise correct country wise okay it's a depends on the client requirement but most of the cases what we used to suggest we used to suggest only the one for local customer one for the international customers but and also that is also the client decision this is what we are going to suppose to i mean propose our option then under the collection segment okay remember be careful the collection segment once we have done the configuration once we once we transferred the data from the finance to collections management no more we are not going to deactivate the collection segment once we activation once we do the okay once we perform some transactions with the collection segment okay we are we cannot there is no option to deactivate that one so that is the reason we have to be careful on this area okay then <clears throat> or else okay so the collection segment the collection segment uh, here i just have mentioned okay under the collection segment what will be there under the collection segment then collections group will be there okay collections group so the collection group is nothing but okay the group of people which are going to there in the collection group okay group is nothing but the peoples are working in the in the in this department then collection collections group so the collections group in this collections group the peoples are working collections group okay it's a depends on the requirement if you have a collection if you have a collection segment for international collection segment for custom for local customers okay each and each and every collection group is working a different different people so because this this group this collections group who are working under this group they are only responsible for the local customer incoming payments if if somebody is working here then they are they are responsible for the they are responsible for the okay international customers they are responsible if we have a collection group okay they are the responsible for the international customers incoming payment this is the structure is in the collections management now in terms of okay in terms of if we talk about a collection management role so this is the structure only now all will be interlinked you need to understand okay now the collection groups it's linked to the collection segment then collection segment it will be interlinked to the collection profile there is a one more one more thing which is missing sorry here the collection profile will be there okay so the collection profiles here this one collections profile so in this collect the collection profile it's like the it's like uh, how we have seen in the business partner okay the collection profile option will be i mean this is a one of the separate tab when we are going to assign the ukm 001 there is a some role it is there once we are uh, ukm uh, 001 i think the role okay once we assign that collections management role then the collection profile will be enabled then the collection profile okay in that collection profile what we are going to mention we are going to maintain the which collection segment the customer is relevant okay so then this is the this is the relationship then the under collection segment this collection groups will be assigned this is the interrelationship if we talk about so the all will be interlinked my business partner the business partner with the reference to company code okay without company code we cannot create the business partner with help under the company code we have created the business partner this is the relationship into the in collections management now let me go to the roles okay now in the collection now what are all the roles are available the roles in 
roles in collections roles in collections management then as i told collection specialist first we will discuss about the collections specialist collection specialist is there okay so the collection specialist is the okay the he is the team member who is going to contact to the customers okay the person is responsible for the as i told the collection specialist is the person responsible okay he will contact to customer incoming payments then what he will do what the his responsibilities collection specialist okay if we talk about he is going to contact for the customer payments then what he what the process of the collection specialist we need to understand the process also important what he used to do then his process is that the step number one he will access the access the access work list okay then once the work list will be accessed then what the next step would be he will access the work list work list is nothing but what are all the open line items which are there okay in open state then based on the based on the work list what he will do prepare customer contact prepare customer contact contact means to which customer we need to contact against which line item we need to contact because he know that okay to whom we need to contact then once this will be performed then this is a step by step of the process in the collections management step by step process then the next one is <coughs> contact customer once the once the preparation once the customer contact will be prepared then customer contact then then contact customer then he will contact to the customers for the payment then then the last one is that document customer contact okay so the do document document customer contacts customers customer contact so what what the person is going to do he will document the customer contact information document in the sense history okay now the person the collections specialist has been contacted to the customer through through uh, through let us assume through the mail communication but customer has responded back then he is going to do the payment or he promised to make the payment so and so amount okay then what what the customer specialist will do he will create the promise to pay or or else he will update the phys the in the history what what inputs received from the customer in case even though if customer is not responding back even though by mail by 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 call also the same information which he is going to document the collection specialist is going to document the in that information then the next one is that okay now this is the one of the important role the collection specialist then the next one is that collection collections manager this is the one of the important role then the next role is that collections collections manager then so the collections manager okay what is what is his role the collections manager he is the person okay he is the person managing all the all the collection groups so, so it's nothing but a, he is the he is the manager for all the groups all the collection specialists okay who are working in the collections group okay so collection so if we talk about a collection specialist will be working under collections manager what exactly the collection collections manager roles we'll see that one okay so what he will do define define strategies okay strategies are nothing but going forward we'll see that one strategies in the sense of what basis the system should derive the should derive the line items okay so the 
that we are we are we are calling as a collection strategies okay so the strategies are nothing but let us assume now which are all the open items from 0 to 10 days those line items which we want to come into the okay open state our uh, work list or else 0 to 1 days 0 to 10 days those line items i want to exclude okay generate while generating the work list only the which are all the line items okay from 21 to 60 days those line items only we want to generate work list okay there are different kind of strategies which he is going to which he is going to create okay this is since this is the end user activity even in the real time also okay then the roles if we talk about the roles of the collections manager what he will do let's see that then define strategies so strategies are nothing but how the line items which should be triggered define collection strategies define collection strategies he will do okay then because even these people does not have the authorization okay how to how the uh, strategies should be defined how the system should derive the line items then the next one is that okay create create and update groups okay the collection groups as we discussed about the collection groups right in this collection groups let us assume there there are two peoples are working okay out of two people so one person is going on leave another person will be okay and only the one person will be there okay or else there are multiple people are working one person is going on leave on behalf of his substitution okay whatever the work list which is triggering to that collection specialist then instead of that one directly it should trigger to the some more person okay so the next step of the collection manager he will update the okay he will create and update groups okay in case if you feel that there there are additional groups to be required election additional collections groups he can able to create then create create or update update groups groups in the sense of collection groups only update collections collections groups here okay so then either this person will create the new group new collection group or he will update that group then the next one is that because these roles also important okay if we understand if we understood the roles then in the implementation project or support project it will be easy for us to understand the business process then adjust to the bp in case if they feel that if they want to update some collections profile or collection group information okay he can able to do the changes adjust bp adjust business partner or do the changes business partner level then then the next one what he will do monitor the groups monitor collections groups okay here the person is going to monitor the collections groups also okay so these are the two important roles which are available in the collections management one is the collection specialist then collections manager okay these are the important roles important rules which we are going to see into the collections management okay so <clears throat> now if anyone is having any further queries please let me know about so i just have given the overview of the collections management why we would require the collections management and this is the how it is going to how the collections profile or uh, how the collections management will be interlinked to the our company code but this is the business partner level what i have explained for this one also we would require is additional configuration is to be required then the the interlink how the how it how the collections management is going to connect to the business partner okay in the business partner collection profiles will be there under the collection profile we are going to assign the collection segment okay the collection segment in the collection segment the collection groups will be there in the collection groups if you want again in detail in the collection groups the collection specialist will be there because because i have i am working finance team so, so under finance team 
okay we are a group people around 10 people are working so like that the group in group is nothing but one team okay under this team many people are working okay now if you again want to drill down the collection group can have the multiple collection specialists now so let me go to the so these are the roles uh, roles in the collections management if we talk about it. then collection specialist Vijay, collection uh, yes vacant uh, so you um, i understand the roles what you explained that either um, the collection specialist and collection manager but where we need to assign these rules at bp level or uh, it is a collection um, uh, you know structure how does it work so i can get that that logic See, see these roles and all okay we we should have the separate roles for the collections management okay where we are going to assign bp level okay in the business partner we have a separate role venkat okay if that role will be assigned to that particular business partner the same access need to be provided to the collections manager or collection specialist okay that basis team will be provided okay the role role name i am not sure but the business partner level there is a separate role how for the for collections management when cut okay we have a separate role okay role based right in s4 hana it's a completely role based but that role if particular role will will have this per, this person the collections manager or collection specialist then they can able to perform these activities otherwise it will not perform see now if i want to perform the some work list activities okay regeneration of the work list okay existing there is a new one business partner which is missing if the person would like to regenerate the work list what will happen this person should have the regeneration authorization also okay the authorization part okay if we ex if we tell to the i mean uh, to the basis team they will identify when cut okay they will identify then they will <coughs> provide the they will they will provide the access but in case if let us assume if you are trying to perform the regeneration or generation of the work list if we may face some issue then if we provide that su53 screenshot to the basis people then based on that error then they will provide that okay so like that it will work Venkat. the access point of view the completely it's a basis team will take care of that one okay okay the mean is the role itself it is a security roles not exactly. the exactly no 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 see business partner level the role why we would require at business partner level i want to update the role of collections management and the, at the same time, what are all the information to be required for business partner to perform the collections management? Because if this BP is relevant to my collections management, collection profile is to be required. Without collection profile, I cannot, that business partner, I cannot treat as a collections management BP. So that could be the reason that is that role is different. Okay, that role is different for business partner. If this BP is relevant for my collections, say collections management, but now what? we are what you are asking about the role if i want to generate the work list if i want to do some changes okay then that role is different when cut okay that role is okay, got it. yeah yeah but even ecc point of also same view like this right same no no, no. see the, see the collection segment it is there but now if we talk about the okay the roles point of view it will be differ uh, anil okay the roles point of view because sap in ecc what we used to do the transaction code wise we were able to providing the authorization but now in s4 hana it's a completely the role based okay now if you want to perform the work list okay regeneration or generate the work list or access work list you should have particular role okay if that that role have that authorization if they granted authorization then you can perform other it's not the transaction code based completely it's a authorization based the yes for hana so the only one change is there when anil come again could you please so the only one change is there for ecs and s4 hana yeah see this is the roles only okay the so role based the authorization yeah the role based okay fine. the role fine. based fine no problem okay fine now so if you have any further queries please contact now let me go to the let me go so, to the, uh, the what, what about the uh, sta strategies uh, vision collection see, strategy 
see the collection strategies which we are going to generate because that is the end user activity when it's not the consulting activity but will create the collection strategies also okay so the as i told the collection strategies will be will be created in the collections manager because he know that one how the collections collection strategy should be applied on the open line items because that person knows because it's not our activity it's not the consulting activity because there are some standard sap delivered okay collections strategies are there okay first we need to understand the basic strategy the collect under basic strategies we need to have a collection strategies i will show you that one there are two type of strategies are there collection strategies and basic strategies are there what standard sap has been delivered but most are the cases those two will not support for client requirement then we can we can create the basic basic strategies and as well as collection strategies also then we will interlink the both collection strategies and the basic basic strategies we will see that one also okay but now let us feel that one we are one of the collections manager we are working okay after once we do the configuration as part of activity let's see that one <coughs> now come to the financial supply chain management you can see the collections management basic settings for the collections management make settings in accounting then basic data define company codes for the sap collections management which are all the company codes relevant to the my okay this is the first step where we need to activate the company codes which are relevant for my the for my collections management then this is not required early business process now collection strategies you can see here as i told the basic rules are there okay collection rules are there now define basic rules most are the cases now you can see here this we need to understand now you can see here okay now let us assume this is the risk class based on the risk class which system should generate the work list okay based on the credit limit utilization we want to generate the work list okay what is this exactly okay now this is a one of the standard sap delivered table okay in case the rules how we are going to set up let's see let us see that one based on the risk class or total of the line items overdue since n number of days let us see this one select this one attribute selection come here now we can see the amount okay single field or multiple fields we would required is a multiple fields okay number of days okay number of days then we have given but now from where these rules are going to coming okay this is the basic rules okay now if you want to include some other parameters some other parameters okay we need to understand logic also right the basic rules how we are going to define the basic rules are interlinked to the collection rules okay so the both will be both with the combination of basic rules and collection rules we are going to create the collection strategies collection strategy collection strategies if we talk about this is one basic rule structure this is the one table let me see this one There is a one table it is there okay in that table we can able to we can able to the table i will check i will check because the table name i know that one but don't remember okay so now if you want to see the risk categories risk categories what are all the rules which we have defined inside of this one risk class okay so all this will be all this will be we can able to see while creation of a collection strategies okay now these are all the standard sap delivers basic rules see where it is going to start with b b stands for basic rules you need why we need to understand the logic also okay br now if you want to define your own rules also okay your own rule let me click this one let's see package udm underscore strategy 
underscore strategy interfaces okay name of implementation class okay the table i will check the udm underscore basic i think define udm underscore basic rules this one okay table i will check tomorrow okay i will let you know the table name i don't remember okay so in that table if you want to have if we want to have additional fields okay the fields in the sense now let us assume overview of the installments okay now let me go to inside of this one attributes now if you want to include any additional fields number of days overview now see from where these line items are coming okay to appear these line items there is a one more table if that table have the fields okay if the table have the the multiple fields from that list we can pick up which one we want but the table i don't remember at this moment i will show you the tomorrow from which table the information we we can able to pick up okay then if you want to define the new basic rule also new one the basic rule what i what i will do let me do one thing total line items let me copy this one then zero zero one okay then i will just mention i will copy this one select the code just copy okay copy all then come inside of this one okay automatically the system is coming here if you want if you want then what we can do we'll go inside of this one okay then if you want you can add n number of fields here also then the fields you can select from here but now there are only two fields are appearing but now if you want to add multiple fields also that option should be should enable here okay that from there is a one table it is there if that table contains that fields okay because this rule okay this rule have that two the fields the multiple options then that the system will be enabled here to add the multiple fields because since only might be this the the structure it is having only the two fields so that could be the reason only at this moment number of days and amount which we can able to see only the two fields but i will show you tomorrow from which table the system will where we need to maintain that one okay then since it is a <coughs> not customization request it's a workbench request so now basic rules if we talk about the basic rules then there are some if basic rules properly not working okay we need to check this bad is what what standard sap has been provided then come to the collection rules so the collection rules collection rules as i have explained basic rules will be there the collection rules okay so with combination of these two with the combination of these two now we can see a collection rules where it is going to start with the cr okay now the collection rules let me check here now you can see here risk class based on the risk class the system should the system should generate the okay work list okay amount total total of all line items due now you can come back and see here total i total number total the line items are due with a number of days okay though these are the collection rules okay these are the collection rules with combination of these two things which we are going to then prerequisites Oh, so okay process strategies collection strategies process strategies are nothing but collection strategies you just create this one create the collection strategy which you want let me create the crm01 collection strategies now you can see here system is proposing automatically okay now overview overview period okay if the line items are overdue since 1 to 30 days or 31 to 60 days 61 to 90 days these line items should be part of should be should uh, with this with this uh, with this uh, i mean uh, days the system should generate the line items now due date period okay due date period also the same okay overdue line item in case if customer uh, customers are due these are the overdue overdue is nothing but already the line items are crossed the due date so those we are going to treat as a overdue line item so now if you want to change anything here one to ten days also 
you can see here okay want to enter the currency enter okay, okay we'll enter that one then even if you want to change also see 1 to 30 it has been changed now currency let me enter is the inr here because the system is looking this one then see 1 to 10 1 to 10 i want to generate 1 to 30 days then then 30 to let me enter here then 31 to 31 to 60 days if you want to you can add you can add the line item here also 61 to 90 days also now system is keep on okay now you can see here up to 91 days which are all the line items are in open state overdue period now due date period okay which are all the line items are due okay we can maintain here i'll maintain here is the 90 days the strategy which i am going to create now here let me put it here like this instead of this one 180 days 90 days so meaning that sorry 180 days so which are all the line items overdue since 180 days those line items will be will be the system should generate the work list with help of them now come to the rules here you can just come here then then click on the then the rules part of then now you can see the collection rules the system is asking which rule you are going to apply the collection rules let me select the total total of line items overdue since n number of days this i am going to select this is the valuation okay the valuation if you give some percentage and all okay then this is not required then description description also it is not there then <coughs> so status uh, strategies means the pay overdue period or uh, due pay, due date period only vijay yes yes see due date period okay which however you want the select the selections okay now here the system is proposing this one okay now if you want to define the different collection strategies different ways also based on my credits also which customers are crossing the credit limits for them also if i want to generate the okay because these and all okay the days okay but now here the collection rules will play the key role okay collection rules because under the collection rule okay collection rules will be interlinked to the basic basic rules based on that logic the system is going to generate the list now due days number of days number of days done data dunning data this is a dunning data then prerequisite and conditions now if you if you want to have a, any any prerequisite any conditions now if you click this one okay now the day since the line items if the line items are overdue more than more than more than one days you just mentioned here okay more than zero one days now if you want to some amount items total amount also you just specify the prerequisite also prerequisite okay there are items of overdue okay now you just because under the collection rules already the basic rules are interlinked okay now the collection rules it will play the key role the strategy which i have created this is the strategy okay this is the strategy which i have created then let me save this one let me come back here so because this is not our our job the in real time what we'll do the person collections manager will define okay now let me come to okay priorities and all okay priorities we'll see that one then later on first we'll go for the organization structure define or define collection segments okay the collection segments are what we have talked about new entries let me define the the collections segment <coughs> so the collection segment let me define india then collections now you can see here i was talking about the release right once you release this collection segment you know i mean see after release also in case if we have not transferred any line item data from finance to collections management then that is fine we can come back we can deactivate this option but once the data which will flow from finance to collections management 
into this segment we can no longer will be we cannot able to deactivate so the once your release perform then we cannot call back that segment okay even we cannot delete that one okay be careful collection segment for india okay or else lcl i will keep it like collection segments for local customers then international customers okay however you want you can define but at this moment i am not releasing let's see that one now come to the assign company code to the collection segment which company codes are relevant for this collection then assign this company code see this segment is linked to the company code assign credit control assign credit segment for the collection segment okay while defining the basic rules what we have seen okay in the basic rules in the collection rules there are there are some okay options what we have seen okay now if the customers are crossing the credit limit okay you, okay now those customers also should be part of my collections worklist then you can activate this collection segment you can interlink this collection segment to the credit segment to the collection segment okay this we need to discuss with business okay we need to discuss with business and finalize this one because since because the some some organizations some people okay they want to go with this option they may they may not go with this option okay it's a depends on the requirement what we can say the let us let us interlink this one the credit segment okay because what will happen this credit segment also it's interlinking to the this collection segment what will happen if there are any line items which are crossing the credit limit then those line items also should appear into my into my work list okay so with that if if that function if that uh, requirement should up, uh, i mean should achieve then this step we must have to perform otherwise it will not work okay remember then come back come back define collections profile okay so let me define the collections profile <clears throat> then assign collection segment okay yes, i have explained right collection yes these are all customization these are all the consulting activity we must have to do the configuration only the except the basic rules collection rules collection strategies and also apart from that the the collection groups also will be created by the collections manager that is the reason i have explained what are all the roles okay here what what exactly what he is going to perform yeah these are all individual activities it won't exactly. ask any yeah, exactly any tr yeah first of all as you said the system will not ask any transport request then come to the collection segment okay then under this collections now you can see here for local customer for this one only i have mapped then enter segment has not released see now the system is not yet released okay now first what system is telling that you first release the segment then come back the assignment okay let me go back and release the segment let me release this segment see now even you can see here you can see here the statement from the sap also see collection segment lcl will be released it can okay then no longer be changed okay even even so system is also giving the hint before releasing that segment okay that is what okay be careful then enter then save it okay even see until to until now you can see now it has been completely grayed outed it has been grayed outed now you can see it's no longer available for the deactivation then collections profile then this i have already defined then come to the new entries 
now system will accept it. now define collection groups so collection groups are nothing but a who is going to work in this group okay now india strategy now you can see here system would required the collection strategy whether if you want to apply the default any collection strategy you can apply here okay the collection strategies which are already defined somebody has defined but now let us let me view this one the collection strategy which we have defined here because see now let me try to save this one see now system is not asking any transport request that is what as i told the define strategies define co collection groups okay define groups now let me come back here let me come back here now define collection groups and collection seg collection seg collection groups inside of this one you can see here there are a number of activities but now for this one the system do not system is not asking any transport requests any transport request since it is a it is a end user or current setting since this is the end user activities now come to the collection processor processor is the person who is the person responsible then click on new entries okay collection specialist okay collection specialist as you is the sap name okay yes for hana yes hana 21 let me give it sorry for hana 21 let me give my id then enter okay then assign substitute processor what i was telling that the substitute processor how the substitute processor which is going to work okay now let us assume this person is going on leave okay let us assume okay our vacation long vacation or some due to some reason xyz reason going so some leave then the whatever the work list which is triggering or which is generating on behalf of this person okay on this user it should automatically trigger to the substitute which i am going to substitute to the user okay even start date end date okay what is the specialist which i am going to mention okay the start date let me mention here is the 0101 or else i'll mention today's date 30th 01 2023 to the end date should be 0502 2023 okay until february okay to whom it should wrote i mean instead of this person to whom the the work list should be routed automatically then i will mention some s4 s4 hana to one okay because okay if anyone is if you have any enter the different substitute okay substitute i think system is not accepting okay then s4 hana let enter 22 collection specialist does not belongs to the collection group trm okay so because we need to assign the roles and all okay that person the collection specialist does not belongs to the collections group trm collection specialist need to be assigned to the collection group then only it will work okay now we can we can do this one also okay substitute but now for this one if you want you can come back and you can assign okay here this is now you can see the system is not generating any transport request let me go back here this is a substitution there is a one important thing is there the workflow concept it is there workflow also i will show you how the workflow with the standard sap delivered then assign collection groups to the collection segment now this one assign collection groups to the collection segment collection groups which we have defined this is the group if this is the group default for all the customers for all the bps you can select this one otherwise don't select this one then come back business partner okay business partner promise to pay and all this and all customer contact we'll see all this information work list and all integration with accounts receivable with accounts receivable this is the one important thing okay we'll continue tomorrow okay so then if you have any queries so just come back so that what i will do i will share with you i will share with you the
uh, the configuration material also by right, today so right. for this collection there is no other models is required right like stmm config is not required right sir no why don't we see now see the as per the process it should be required anil because the process in the sense for collections management if you if we have the line items in finance directly you can i mean what are all the line items are there in fbl 5n okay from there we can transfer the line items but now for if the process as per the process if we talk about mm and sd integration should be required because how the documents are flowing to fi okay after completion of the billing only the document will be triggered to the finance right okay yes, now 